Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. Today is Sunday and I have a really busy week coming up, so I figured in order to make that seem less intimidating, um, we could go ahead and plan our week together. So in this video, I'm just going to plan out my week in my Jibun Techo Biz. And I've been using this for 2022 and I really love it. It's the first time I've tried a Jibun Techo. I could talk about it more if anyone's interested, but it works good for me to carry around at work and it's a good size and the paper quality is great. So this is kind of inspired by, I might say her name wrong, Tisa Muiko, who I'll link her channel below. Um, she recently posted a journal with me, a day out video. And one thing she did that really caught my attention was she gathered all of her supplies that she planned on using in that session and put it in front of her. And I have that problem where, because my stuff is not perfectly organized, I start doing something and I want to look for a certain washi tape or a stamp pad or whatever, and then I can't find it and it gets me upset and then I give up and move on. And then I feel like I'm not doing what I really wanted to do either on that spread or whatever. So as we see here, I gathered up some of the things I, I think I want to use for this including my highlighters. I'm gonna go with these lip pen. I like this color scheme of the <laughs> yellow, golden mustard, uh, jade, and the blue one. Um, my trusty 1.0 Uni Jetstream, which I feel like works everywhere. Uh, this is a pen I actually carry around in my Jubin Tetra at work because it has a three different ink colors. This is the Jetstream More Black in the limited edition Pink. It, it's called pink, but it really just looks like a soft red with a maroon cap to me. I like it. My One of my Stabilo pastel highlighters, some washi tapes, a, I forgot what brand this is, but the mini scissors that look like a pen, uh, my Tombow Mono two-way correction tape, and don't know if I'm going to use my date stamp, but I have it out just in case. I did finally find some of my ink pads. So this is just a regular black one that you can probably get anywhere. And then I had purchased these Distress inks from Michaels a while back. And this is when I was just starting to think I would be interested in stamping my traveler's notebooks and stuff. And it's these different colors, which I don't know if it's really gonna show up because I, I, I just panic bought. <laughs> And I think they're distressed, which means the ink is not all the same color. It's gonna be like faded in certain parts, which is probably not the best thing for a planner, because then you're not gonna be able to see, what you're, but whatever, we're moving on. And did I already mention the washi tapes? Maybe I did. So I wanted to try this graph washi tape to write on with the jet stream. And a clip to hold the pages open. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And something's wrong with my tripod. tripod. It keeps, uh, it's not tight and it keeps slowly falling so the angle's not always correct. So I do apologize for that. I'll try my best to get it in here. Um, so let's go ahead and open up my Techo. This week is June, wow, June 27th. I can't believe the year's like already halfway over. That seems crazy. So um, one of the big things I have going on this week is I'm going on a work trip again to the same place I had just come back from like two weeks ago which I made a video about in Albany New York and this time I have to drive so let's see if I can move the tripod so maybe you can see it a little bit better we got to figure out what's going on with that there so this is the layout it's vertical this is the first year I've ever tried anything vertical and I love it because I feel like it's easier to block off your time with certain events or certain tasks you need to do. And then over here I do the just regular, like what has to get done this week. It's not necessarily specifically tied to a day. And on the bottom, you know, it has the stuff for, I guess, your mood and the weather and a star. I'm sure there's an explanation for all these different things, but I actually use these, these sections for notes from meetings I'm sitting in on that I might need to use to follow up later. So if I have a two o'clock meeting on Tuesday and there's like three takeaways from the meeting that I have to do something for or I have to plan for the next Tuesday meeting, 
I write it down here. I don't know why, it's just something about having it below your day, kind of like a note section, that just works better. And you might be able to see that the Saturday has this pale blue background and the Sunday has a pale red background. And because this is the biz, it's supposed to have like muted colors. So you stay, I guess, professional in the workplace. I ha I've seen the, I haven't seen the regular one in person, but I think the regular one is different colors like orange, blue, and all that fun stuff. So the biz works well for me. And it has a nice cover. Um, and you can put, and you, it's removable. So I guess, you know, I don't know why you would want to reuse this cover because there's a 2022 on it, but it is a nice, like, I don't know, is it PVC plastic or whatever? And yeah, and I just like beige. So I don't have a fun color. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. Um, like I said, I have to carry this around at work a lot, so I don't want anything too complex and too heavy, and this just works well. So let's go ahead and get started. So biggest thing this week is our trip to Albany. So what I have to do is, what do I wanna start with here? Hmm. Okay, that's the biggest thing, but let's go ahead and block off our time for my part-time job at a college because that's something that's a little bit, like because it has to happen during a certain time versus me just having to do tasks. So this week I'm working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I'm gonna write, starting at 1600 hours, And before I've used this stop below yellow, and I was thinking about trying this Nini P pink t today for this week instead for my college. Although it's probably good to, I don't know, do you all use like a color scheme? That way it's, you, when you see the color, you like associate something with it. That's probably a smart idea. But we wanna try different things. That's what this is all about, so. And this has like a, a different color needle tip. I don't know if you can see it. That's what's one of the cool features. So if you turn it over, you can write with it. Um, so I'm just gonna write in this light blue. So my job is still done virtually until July 5th when we have to go into the office. So I'm gonna have to actually drive to the college and be in my office for these hours, but for now, it's still virtual. So I just use that to write virtual. Can I zoom in anymore? Nope, sorry. I'll hold it up when I'm done. So that is my college job that I have to worry about. And then Albany. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna write my jet stream for this. So what I'm gonna do, Thursday morning is Metro to the office. Um, get item into the van. Drive. And then drive to the site. And then I'm staying in a hotel Thursday night. It's about a six to seven hour drive. So we're staying in a hotel and then I'm driving home Friday, which is kind of nice because then it's going to be a long weekend. And that's my all day thing. I basically am, am blocked off for that day. So I do kind of want to highlight it, but not in the pink. So let's go ahead and use this Stabilo pastel. And what I'm going to do is just do the whole day, both days, because that is, I will be unavailable, because I'll be driving a car. I am having a coworker go with me, but um, I have to do the driving, but it'll be nice to actually have someone to talk to, because I have driven to Albany before. Last summer I had to go, actually on 4th of July weekend again, I was by myself, which wasn't too bad, because on the way home I actually stopped at Mitsua, and Kinokunia, New Jersey, 
to my stationery, of course, which I think on this channel I have videos for that. That was before I really knew what I was doing and I could edit and stuff, so that's that. So what I want to do the night before is I need to remember to pack bag for Albany. And then what I need to do also Monday, that's like, that's a priority, is I have to find out if my coworker has his travel documents in order because we have like this whole thing we have to go through and I don't think he's done his. So I'm just gonna put, And I use F slash U for follow-up. It's not F U in a different way, but I've always used F slash U since like high school. So if you look at my Outlook calendar on things I have to follow up on or follow up meetings, it's F slash U, but it works for me. So, so that I have to do that, pack bag, follow up. So I would say Albany is pretty much set. And what I'm gonna do since the actual day is in this yellow stabilo, I'm gonna color code the pre-item I need to do in that same stabilo, so it's kind of all the same. So another important thing I'm gonna write in this jade green is on July 1st, you have to pay your rent or whatever, which because I'm type A, I've actually already paid, but I still wanna put it on there so I know. And it's also like when the end of the month new things start for the next month. It's good to just know. Can you believe it's July 2022 already? I can't believe it. So those are my big things. Working my other shifts. Oh, and okay, so here we go. Another big thing. I have a site visit I have to do for work. Tuesday at 10 a.m. I have to be downtown at this place. So I'm writing it in here. I don't know if I'm gonna metro or just pay to park in a garage. It's easier to drive. It's only a 10 minute drive, but then because of all the issues we have with our metro, um, it makes it longer. Just looking now to see if I wanna grab a different highlighter. Um, no, let's just stick with this pink, cause it is, no, we'll do yellow. That's the week we're doing today. Everything like in person for work is yellow, okay. So to be there at 10, I should be there probably till 12 or one, so it's not like it's that long of a time. And I already smeared the late pen, but that's okay. What I also need to do to prep for that the day before is I need to get the new document I have to take there. So that's gonna be on my calendar for tomorrow. Um, it's a new document that I know my boss sent me. Uh, I'm gonna have to check. So I'm not gonna highlight that because it's just like a task I have to do during the day. Well, so, okay, so we have our big things. We're going on a work trip. Oh, this is called Oriental Blue, by the way. I just, I didn't take the thing off this yet. Follow up with my coworker for his stuff for the trip. Oh, and I also need to send his paperwork just in case. Okay, send. The more you think about it, the more you add to your list, right? Uh, then I have my school job. I also have my, so I'm also doing a summer research position at my university that I haven't been doing enough of and I really need to spend more hours working. So, because that's like a, whenever I have downtime type thing, like whenever evenings and weekends I have free time, I'm gonna write that on the left side because that's just kind of like an ongoing task. Um, Okay, so that's an ongoing task. I do want to um, make sure I'm up to date on all my bills. I wanna pay my credit card, so that can be done anytime this week. What else, what else, what else? Um, oh, I need to add, so we're gonna go back to tomorrow. I need to add my name to our Office roster. Okay. I also need to clean my apartment. I think 
kind of like just tidy up. I actually tidied up my stationery last night. Can y'all believe it? Um, that's off my to-do list. Uh, another thing I was thinking about this week that is stationery related is I really am thinking about ordering the Hobonichi July start. So I'm going to write that order. But that's like a question because I don't know if I definitely want to do it or not. Order Hobonichi July start. And the reason why I wanted to order it, if I do order, I want to order it tonight or tomorrow is because I want to have it before July because if it can get delivered, so I'll come home late on Friday night and if it can get delivered before then, I'm... I love me a fresh start, <laughs> so since that's the first day of July, it'd be really nice to kind of have this holiday weekend to be at home and do more stationary stuff, because with the gas prices and travel chaos, which I'm sure you all see about in the news, I don't think I'm going to go away anywhere this weekend. I think I'm actually going to have a nice weekend at home and just do stuff that I enjoy, so yeah, so that's got to be decided basically tomorrow. So... Here's kind of the spread. Yellow is work in person things I have to do or important things for the in-person things. Pink is college job and then the tasks I have to do on that specific day. Now I don't have my work calendar in front of me and normally I would put meetings that I know I have like on the actual time slot for it. But I know this week is chaotic because a lot of us are traveling. I know my boss is traveling tomorrow morning so any meeting I would normally have with her would probably get pushed and then because I'm traveling, my normal meetings would get pushed, so it's kind of like I'm just going to update it as my Outlook calendar gets updated. But I know these are the tasks that I really need to do. And by saying that, I just remember another task I need to finish tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to write that in there. And what else? What else? We probably should go to the grocery store tonight. So I might just put like grocery fridge because I need to kind of organize and clean out the fridge. I know this is maybe not exciting, but I'm just showing you how I'm planning. Again, with the general tasks here that can be kind of be done whenever and then the tasks during each specific day. And then this, these I usually leave open for notes. So now that we have our spread, let's do a little decoration type stuff. So I got this stamp that says let's go with like a, a sign. It was part of a collection from, I wanna say it was like the Michael's dollar bin and I had bought them a while ago. So it's love this place, an earth, a camera and a let's go. And since I had organized my stationery last night and I'm trying to like really vamp up my planning, I feel like my traveler's notebook game is on point but my planning is not. So that's why I wanted to do this. I'm gonna use this let's go and then I'm going to put this love this place for like my weekend because I'm looking forward to just like a weekend of doing things that I love. And let's go ahead and see which color we want to try. The cool thing about these distresses is that they all stack together. So we don't want the pink because it would clash with our other pink. Orange could be an option. I made this gray. Well, it says weathered wood. Oh, it says worn lipstick, leathered, weathered wood, old paper. It's old paper green. <laughs> and then wild honey. So let's try this weathered wood stamp. Like I said, I have no idea. These also might be dried up because I bought them probably six months ago and I couldn't find them until I did my organizing last night. Does anyone ever get in like the zone where you're just like, you can stay up for hours because you're so into something. See, it's not really even inking. Let's try it on my Lamy notebook, which I've been using as a tester for a lot of things. Oh, okay. It looks fine. I don't know why I was second guessing myself there. So we're just stamping it here. Road trip. And then let's go ahead and use, I'm going to use the wild honey next. No, let's use the old paper because it's greenish, apparently. Is it 
really. Let's test it. I mean, I don't know if it's just the ink because it's distressed or is it just my eyes or whatever, but we're just gonna do it since we already have it inked up. And I'm just gonna put it down here. I'm actually gonna put it like just in the middle. And I am gonna write just, um, I'm just gonna write holiday weekend. Who knows, maybe between now and then my weekend plans are changing, but as of right now, I'm kind of looking forward to not having any plans. <laughs> and let's do some washi tape. So this is one of my favorite ones, probably from Tokyo Pen Shop, where it's like a guy on the days of the week and like his different activities and all that kind of stuff. So let's see where we left off. Sleeping, delicious, coffee. So that's the next one's for Sunday. So let's maybe just put this like on the side for our weekends. Just for fun. What's that say? I iron coffee. Well, I'm definitely gonna be drinking coffee on my my six hour drive. So we're just putting some washi up there. I also got this thin metallic -y green washi to kind of draw attention to some of the things in my planner. And I'm gonna do that for my site visit I have to do for work on Tuesday because that's been rescheduled like three times. And I actually forgot about it until Friday. So I don't wanna forget about it again. So I'm just actually gonna put it Kind of just like ad hoc there. And I really just want to try writing on this um, graph washi. I think I have maybe in another video, but I can't remember. Again, I couldn't find this tape for the longest time. And then when I organized last night, I finally refound it. So, so I want to use it. And what can I use it for? So Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, Tuesday's gonna be a long day, so I kinda wanna write something on Monday night to like, oh, I should get all my stuff ready for, oh, it's funny, cause it's like graph paper on graph paper. I wanna get ready for, um, I gotta pack my stuff up for my site visit for everything I have to bring, so. I actually want to go to bed early on Monday night, so I'm like up and ready. I'm just gonna write bed early. Okay. So here's my little spread so far that we got for the week coming up. My trip, my site visit, my things I have to do for my trip tomorrow, my general tasks, my monthly tasks. Oh, that reminds me of another thing I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it, so I'm going to email my coworker to do something. I don't know which day I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it for Wednesday. I'm just going to put monthly. Worker, if he can do something for me while I'm on my trip. Well, he, he's actually the assistant to this position, so normally he would do it, but I like doing things. I just need to learn to delegate. So, yeah, that is my weekly spread in my Hobo Neat, or no, Jibun Techo Biz. I'm trying to do better at planning because I'm forgetting things. Maybe I'll uh, show you at the end of the week how this worked out for this week and if. I added things or changed things, but I kind of like it. It also helps me planning also, not only for the planning purposes of knowing what you have, it also helps me reflect a little bit. And by sitting down on Sunday, 
and putting this all out and using my fun stationary items that maybe I normally don't get to use for other things kind of makes me feel more confident about the week ahead and less stressed. I know that's kind of bizarre, but writing down all the things I need to do in a nice way makes me feel better about all those things I need to do. And like, I have a little bit more control or even maybe look forward to it. So I don't know. That's enough of me babbling. Come on, Greg. Well, I hope you all have a good week ahead and take care. Thanks for watching.